What's going on guys? Welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the glide technique. So to give you guys a little introduction about myself, I am a professional shot put thrower. Right now I rotate, but when I was back in high school, I used to glide. I was self-taught, basically learned off of YouTube, and yeah, got myself up to a 66-foot PR to get recruited to go to the University of South Carolina. Just a little introduction, but today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up in the glide technique and have some drills that will propel you to your best season yet. So stay tuned, and we're going to get into some technique work. Part one is for holding the shot put and the placement of the shot put. So for the glide technique, you want it down towards your ear and the shot put has to be placed on your neck. And also the shot put should be placed on the upper palm of your hand. The most important part in the glide technique is to have a understanding of the stand throw. You want your feet placement to be your front leg in the middle of the circle and your back leg lined up with your back of your heel. This will be a cadence for the stand throw. So you first want to rotate the toe, then the knee, then the hip, keeping that upper body down and back, and then working it up and finishing straight through. Part three is for the starting position. In your starting position, you want your hips under you in an athletic stance. In the glide technique, you want to make sure that you're pushing off of that heel while also keeping the upper body down and back. Being balanced in that starting position is crucial, so loading back up and pushing. Switching the angles now, you'll see how I'm balanced over that power leg and then I reach, pushing with that heel. Make sure that you're extending with that leg, keeping the upper body down and back, and then you're back into your power position. This is some basic knowledge you need to know in order to use the glide technique. I'll be showing you guys a couple of drills in order to throw bombs in your next track meet. Similar to what I was showing you guys before with the foot placement in the glide, you want to start at the same position, balance, pushing from that heel, and extending even more and like basically a split and then picking that back leg up into that power position. Drill two will be the glide and stop. So the same foot placement as the A drill, you'll just load up and then shoot back with your legs, staying in that power position. So you could do that a couple of times and then after keeping that upper body back and rotating the legs and going up. To get more practice with the stand throw, I added the toe, knee, hip drill, the cadence call to keep that upper body back, grinding the ground, and finding the separation you need to throw far. For the stick on my back, you can use a broomstick. You can use anything that won't snap. Drill four is a partner glide drill. So you want to have a partner hold your hand, and then you want to shoot back. Make sure that your partner's not being too tight and going with you but giving some resistance. With this drill, make sure that you're pushing from your heel and actually feeling that drive back. I know this drill is looking weird that I'm just sitting down, but it has a point. So for a lot of athletes, you're not used to pushing off of that heel. So make sure that you have a box and you fall back and push from that heel. This will get you comfortable with that driving in the glide position. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching the whole video. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. I could do the rotational. I could do more of advanced stuff. Just let me know. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya!